Hey guys, I'm back again and I know after a long time but there you go. So iPhone 10R is it worth buying in 2020 especially after the launch of new iPhones like 11 and 11 Pro? Well not gonna lie I was clear about this video that what my answer would be because it's damn practical and easy. So if you want to save time well you can buy iPhone 10R in 2020 there you go. And for others let's do this. So first thing I want to clear for most people and I repeat not all but for most people is that iPhone 10R or 11 is more than enough. I'm not gonna dive deep in specification a lot because that is something that you all know. I'm gonna focus more on a real life usage. Let's start with the things that I don't like about this phone and that has to be the display. Look in real life usage you wouldn't even mind this a very big thing because it's not. But no phone is perfect and you will not even care because this display is just fine. But when you will sit next to your friends and all and they might be using S10, OnePlus, you might get jealous. So if you have jealousy problem then only otherwise well nope 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 you will have no problem I know this is not a full edgy display but still just in comparison iPhone 11 also have the same display. Next thing that I want to talk about or point is that which you can notice physically is the camera and short note just because of that camera your phone will never be stable on the table. So the main question for most people would be that how or can we live with one camera in the back in 2020? Well not gonna lie. This is a very debatable topic but that's why I'm here. So if you are coming back from a dual camera setup, you will miss the features like taking zoom photos with the portrait camera which by the way is there in 10 But the thing is it can only detect humans not the object. So what you get is one ultra wide camera which is absolutely phenomenal for most of us but if you want everything in your life well this will not give you that. You have to look for the other option like iPhone 11 or even 10s and you have 11 Pro also. But from my side what we have in iPhone 10R which is this single camera it works like a boss and low light quality is absolutely amazing. Here I can show you some samples as you can see the photos are sharp they look perfect. And just remember 10s wide camera lens is same in 10R also. So display and camera well it's done. Now it's time to talk about the main thing which is the performance. If you are a hardcore gamer, well this phone can handle everything like from starting to bottom. Usually I play PUBG so from my side I didn't experience any kind of lag till now. I feel like A12 Bionic chip is enough to handle everything and phone heats a bit I'm not gonna lie but that's not a huge problem. So overall experience in, in this department is too damn good. 3GB RAM and you know A12 is enough to handle everything right now. One small thing that I want to point out between this video is that when you will buy this phone you will get this 5 watt adapter so just do one thing. It's too damn slow like it takes forever to charge this phone which is very disappointing so please if you buy this phone make sure that you buy a 10 watt adapter with it. Every problem comes with a solution right so here you go. Now the bad thing is that it takes forever to charge this phone right. I have actually made this habit where I actually leave the phone to charge in the night only. And here's the great thing after that. I use that phone for the whole day like 7 to 8 hours and after that also I am left with 20-22%. Isn't that great? I really want to force here that if you are looking for the phone that will last you even more than one full day. Yes I guarantee more than one day with basic use like social networking, games and all. Then go to the Apple store right now and pick this phone. I mean not right now after this quarantine. Well because this phone is a powerhouse. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Small but very important thing about this phone is that if you love hearing music and videos well the speaker on this device is just amazing. There are dual studio speakers which are damn good. Another thing is face id. Well short words it works like 95% of the times still not 100. Only thing that I am left with is the hardware of this phone and just like other Apple devices it's pure clean and elegant and slippery at the same time. You better keep this baby safe. I always keep the phone with you know this cover on always like 80% of the time. So this phone is very damn slippery. So now I really want to talk about another small thing but this time that I don't like which has to be the bezels. I mean they are big which means that it will not cover the whole display which is sad. Another small thing that is not small in this phone is the size like it's between the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max and same goes for 10s and 10s Max. So this size for me it's perfect but again it's just me. So there you go. I didn't want it to deep dive in everything because I believe what matters the most is practicality and this phone almost checks every box. And still in 2020 it's a great phone to go for and for many who still feels that camera is a very big issue here 
well not at all i can guarantee you one thing with this camera you can click some outstanding photos and display well i leave that up to you if you're coming from iphone 10 well you can complain but 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 if you're coming from iphone 7 or even from iphone 8 you will be a happy guy and yeah everything else is perfect battery performance hardware software and especially battery please battery is damn good and with that being said, in 2020, iPhone XR is still a phone that will not disappoint you and can actually be a perfect phone for you if you want to save money from iPhone 11. And if you have one, well, you are already holding a phone which is damn good. So with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. And again, I am AJ and I am signing off. Bye-bye.